Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Shep Gamer, and I'm back with some more Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. And today I want to show y'all how to glyph your attackers for one shot damage. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go over one that I built that I put a lot of time into, and I still could improve. All right, it's not this guy; he's actually pretty good too. But it's my Thunder Samurai, one of the best um, attackers in the game. All right. Uh, you could do this with uh, an array of different attackers. I just chose this one. Okay. So, how to glyph. First of all, the one of the best sets you could do is uh, is Frenzy. All right. The Frenzy set will give you that crit rate that you need. All right. So that's uh, of course 10% bonus crit rate and crit. Being able to crit is very important. All right. And then uh, destruction. So this crit, crit rate and destruction will get you um, a large damage output that you're looking for. Okay. So you could go with uh, the attack, um, the um, strength, but it's better to try to get that crit damage as high as possible, which is why I would recommend going destruction and frenzy. Okay. So you get that destruction, you get plus 30% crit damage. All right. And then since you have an attacker, it's probably it's I'm still like I said I'm still working on mine but it's best to have attack attack up here okay but since I haven't I don't have like really good speed substats um, and for arena I still need him to have some type of speed there that means he could even hit harder if I can change this into a attack percentage uh, uh, glyph instead but for right now I have speed so you could get away with it if you want to one shot uh, your um, uh, enemies you can still get away with it with the speed plus 20 all right and then of course you want a attack crit damage crit rate and speed substats if you can get them okay um, then right here I have attack okay I got attack percentage there I don't have crit rate or crit damage but I do have some defense HP which helps me out to try to stay alive a little bit longer okay then we have crit rate to go along with the bonus crit rate from the set all right and then uh wait, wait then do we have we do have hp here all right so we could but we could find a better crit rate um frenzy glyph here and then we have crit damage plus 51 percent and then we have a bonus crit damage on here too as well and we have attack here and we have really good here crit rate plus eight all right so you see i will have speed attack crit rate crit damage so far and then the last two are going to be attacks all right, so I have the good crit rate substat. So you're trying to just find the best substats as you could. All right, and then uh, speed. This is this is good to have the speed here. The crit rate is very good as well. Defense does help, and we have attack plus 49. And I haven't finished. I haven't got everything to plus 16 yet. All right, but uh, let me see. Y'all yeah, give me some good luck. Let me see if I can I get this up to 15 real quick. Can I? I do want to check. Come on. Oh, we did get it up to 15. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right. So one more. We'll be at the 16. I don't want to risk it. Uh, I'm going to save my little money. The little money I do have left. All right. So the meat of it, we if you could get at least to 4,000 attack, okay, um, get your crit rate at least 75 and above. But uh, I, I really want to get it to the 90s. All right. And then your crit damage. If you can get it to the 300s, it'll be great. Uh, but for me, I'm able to one shot my attack at 4,000 and your crit damage at 290. Uh, 4,000 plus and 290 plus should get you that damage you're looking for. Sometimes I could hit for 20,000, 30,000. Some I hit for 50,000, depending on your defense. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and test out this uh, test out this uh, Thunder Samurai. All right, since I didn't show you his glyphs, you see his speed's not too fast. It's only in the 90s, but it is enough. All right, but in order for you to uh, in order for you to one shot, guys, you have to set it up. All right, oh, we fell to 15. Great. All right, you have to set it up, and the best way to do that is to have a speed unit, 
All right, so I used to have uh, this guy, but I did get, end up getting a new toy. So we're gonna take take him out, the water snake, and we're gonna add in like we upgraded. Okay, so the game saw what I was doing, and it gave me a dragon, my brand new toy. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is the team I'm gonna use. What first one thing you want to do is if you get somebody like the, uh, the fire witch who I had at the very beginning, who you, you could get them to outspeed the other team and then mute them. Or if you could get like the, the you saw the snake fly just had there, the air snake fly, who could paralyze the whole team or any other characters that could stop the other team from having their, having a move or having a turn to go or mute them. That's the character you wanna do. So that's how I'm setting this up, okay? I have a speed character here. Then you have an AOE guard breaker. I have my Kappa. And I'm I'm using him solely just for the guard break, okay? So we got this guy just for the guard break. I only have one damage dealer in the team. Speed, the out speed, get us to move. All right, this guy right here, the guard break. Of course, him for the damage. And then we have him. Uh, I think a lot of people could get this uh, this box here. Uh, he increases your crit rate and um, attack power. I mean, crit damage and attack power. Okay, so all of that. Combined with my 4,000 uh, attack and my 293 crit damage uh, allows us to one shot pretty fairly as long as we crit. And I'm only at 86% crit rate, okay? So that's why if you get the crit rate to 100%, it'll be great. But we'll go ahead and we'll let, let's just get into it and show you how we do this. So it takes a little bit of setup as well, definitely because there's so many people that uh, buff teams. There's so many buffs in this game, all right? So you want to be able to stop them from getting buffs. All right. So now that I got the dragon, it's even easier for me to do it now, but I was doing it with the snake fly and the witch before. All right, so we outsped them. We're gonna, oh, one resisted though. One of them resisted. All right, so look, we're gonna guard break. We did land an AOE guard break. He missed. All right, and then he also, this one right here, not only does he increase your attack power and crit rate, but he, you get a, a gauge booster. All right, so anybody that can boost you up to move next is good. And we boosted, now we move next. All right, so now let's see, can we one shot? And there we go. One shot the whole team. And that is why uh, getting those like certain type of characters, you don't exactly need the samurai. Any other AOE damage dealer will also do good if you get them, uh, those specs that I was talking about. Um, but the fox is probably very important. Get, get that attack buff. Um, to also, boost up your attack gauge for you to move because you're going to be pretty slow. Definitely once I take off that speed and I put some more attack. All right. And um, you just want to be able to get to a point where you can move first. All right. So we're going to show some more uh, one shot action. And um, hopefully those glyphs are helpful. What I just showed you. I know some people might use strength and frenzy, um, but I, I really think destruction and frenzy is the best way to go. If you could do it, all right? So I spend a lot of time farming uh, the strength and All right, so let's move. We get to move first. And uh, what I'm doing with the dragon is he's actually resetting everybody's cooldown time. All right, so we'll see if can we one shot this whole team again definitely the water tree hand. oh my gosh he is annoying all right there you go so i seen 26,000 uh y'all can replay the video to see if there's anything higher than that but it looked like it was 26,000 that we did easily there all right so doing this now i was for the first time i did get the maximum reward i think it was the max or 25 we had a 25 win streak uh let's see uh, yeah, we got the 25. I don't think we got the 30. Somebody messed us up right at the last one to get the 30. But for the first time I ever got was to 25 victory. That was pretty cool. All right, let's try it again. And um, any type of uh, damage dealer, I'll probably do that. I'll probably take off the same glyphs and put it on another damage dealer. Probably like my Rock Shasha or something. Just to show you that it, don't, it doesn't have to be the Samurai to do that uh, great damage is really just the glyphs and having a good attacker. So any other good attacker could be, uh, be great here. So, all right, so we did get the cooldown activated. We got the guard break. All 
Alright, they are. They are, uh. What you call it? Counter attacking. Alright, can we. Now, can we count? Can we one shot? Definitely this guy with the defense buff. Let's see here. Alright, so we didn't. We did, but we didn't crit on him. So you see, when we don't crit, we don't get that damage. Alright, so. All good, though. Kappa is good. Because he does get that attack down, and then he increases the duration of everybody's all the negative effects, not just one, which is really cool. All right, and there we go. So with this squad here, uh, using that samurai, you can get massive damage. All right, and like I said, it just takes the setup. Um, Y'all saw what I was doing before when I had the snake fly. The snake fly was also allowing me to get uh, my turn uh, to go first. And also, who was the other? Not just my snake fly. It was, oh yeah, the fire witch. Okay. Uh, there's other creatures that you might be able to use. I think the Masaru monk would also be good. Um, he's he's like he's like one of the fastest units in the game. I think he has a chance of confusing the other team. Uh, but anything anything that can get you an advantage to where. Uh, either it, it mutes them, decreases their cooldown, or um, or uh, petrifies them. So let me show you the snake fly who I was using uh, before I just got my new toy, the dragon. Where is he at? All right, here he goes. Okay. So I took off all the glyph that was on him and gave it to my dragon. But as you, I was still almost at the same speed. But. Uh, what he did right here was he turns all the enemies in stone for one turn. So that one really helped out good too. Uh, so if you don't have a dragon, of course, I just want to give y'all an alternative. Go ahead and raise your snake fly. Okay. And you can do the same thing. And this spirit fox here, um, y'all definitely could get this guy. You see, I, I don't even have all his, uh, <laughs> I just noticed that. I remember we had room, uh, glyph removal day. So. Um, I'm just now seeing that I don't have that on him. So that makes sense why sometimes he's uh, not getting to the point uh, moving when I want him to. So we're going to add that on there later. It's all right. But even him, at him at 121 speed was more than enough. Uh, all he has to do is be faster than your uh, your main attacker. All right. So if you could crowd control, uh, guard break. Another guard breaker, just in case y'all don't know, I just want to give y'all some, because y'all might not have my team exactly, but this is another guard breaker here. Um, attacks on enemy 65% decreasing their defense for two turns. Okay, I'm not sure who else has AOE guard break, um, but y'all can look that up yourselves. It's just, as long as you get an AOE guard breaker on your team, you can go ahead and try to one shot through arena until everybody starts getting immunity, all right? Then you're gonna have to we're gonna have to you have to switch it up and try to find somebody that can remove beneficial effects. And uh, but when we get to that point, I'll go ahead and make a video about that. But hopefully that was helpful. But once again, this is his stats. All right, he has decent HP. Uh, not the best defense, but he has only got him for attack. Um, you want to get that attack if you can get it to four thousand. That's really good. All right, and if you can get his crit damage in the two nineties, that'd be amazing too. All right, and um, I know some people probably got this like 100% and 350 out there and 4,500 attack or something. But uh, just to um, one shot the team, this uh, this works very well. All right, guys. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, sorry I've been absent this week. I've been doing a lot. So, uh, but I'm back. I'm gonna try to get back to uh, the daily video for you guys. Um, don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe. This is your boy Sam Gamer. And I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.